The victim was an expert in demolition, and so it made sense to speak to his business partner, Adam Maker. As we entered the office, I could sense Pete looking agitated. It seemed like he was busting to question the suspect, to make a splash on this case and become number one. Go on in. Thank you. Oh. Mr. Maker will see you now. Ooh, la la la. This is a fancy office. <laughs> Good afternoon, gentlemen. How can I help you? Who and done it? COPD. Adam Maker and Gina. Please sit down. We're here to investigate Mr. Widow's death. I know, it's terrible news. The death of a business partner can be tough. What? Oh, so, so sorry, I meant the front page of this newspaper, but yes, Jimmy's death is terrible news too. Everybody loved him. Well, not... Uh, um, where were you at 12.20 this afternoon? You don't suspect me, do you? At this point, everyone's a suspect, except the people who aren't. I was in a business meeting. Why wasn't Mr. Widow there? Evidently, he was getting murdered. Did you two get along? Yes. We would often review high-rise buildings before demolishing them. Did you ever fall out? No. I was always sure to use top-of-the-line safety equipment. Was the business doing well? Very. We've seen a large increase in TNT and dynamite demolitions. So, business is booming, then? Very much so. It'd be difficult to go on without him, but I can't let the business fall apart. We'll be in touch shortly. Thank you. But don't call me shortly. We next headed to the library to check Mrs. Widow's alibi. She seemed distraught at the loss of her husband, but you should never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> that was terrible. Who and done it? COPD. Shh. Sorry. Shh. Sheila Donnelly, head librarian. We're investigating the death of Jimmy Widow. Shh. Sorry. Surely not. Everybody loved him. Oh. Can you confirm that Mrs. Black Widow was here at 12.20 today? Shh. Sorry. She was here returning a book, and then she did some research on divorce law. Holy sh... Shh. We'll, uh, we'll let ourselves out. The trip to the library was fruitful, like a jar of preserves. We now had two suspects and a third one to track down. Pete suggested we try it that evening. I decided to call it a night.